What's up, Internet? Usung-uso ngayon yung all-out customization of keyboards from the keycaps that you use to the amount of tactile pressure or feedback of each keycap against your finger. This video is for people like me who know absolutely nothing about keyboard customization but would like some customization para hindi naman ganun ka-boring yung ginagamit kong keyboard. It's for people who know nothing, me, but who want something a bit extra from their keyboard aesthetic. And thanks so much to Cable Mod who sent us their new keycaps. These guys really hit that spot for the novice keyboard customizer who wants a different aesthetic. The brand sent us these items for review but had no say in what we had to say about them. First thing of course is the aesthetic. Usually customization means that you get to make it personal to put a different spin on a very standard item and these keycaps do that they have different themed keycap sets so i got the japanese one and the designs really reflect the theme and they really make your keyboard stand out the japanese keycaps look visually exciting and even more so if you have rgb peeking out even my keyboard which is not rgb looks really pretty now with the japanese keycaps on it Cable Mod has also done something clever where the design stretches over multiple keycaps. So in this Japanese set, you have a sword which continues over three keycaps. So you have a broader sort of canvas where you can have designs over. Dila siya limited to just one keycap. The keycaps work in conjunction to tell a story or to present an image. Again, nothing super new to those who regularly customize their keyboards. But for the novice, like me, it is a very nice touch to see these flourishes on your keyboard. And as a novice, it's very important to me that it's easy to install these things because again, I have no experience at all with custom keyboards. In fact, when I installed these keycaps, that was the very first time that I actually removed the stock keycaps from my keyboard. And it's actually a very relaxing process. It's quite easy to figure out. So you use the yanker. I'm sure there's a technical term, but again, I'm a novice. You use the keycap remover, whatever, to dislodge the keycaps and they pop off. Installing the new keycaps is pretty simple. And you know when you make a mistake because the keycaps just don't sit right, sa feel pa lang, you know that it's not properly situated on top of the stem, parang di siya na shoot. So you need to kind of wiggle it into place and press down firmly. As a beginner, I appreciate that while you can make a mistake, it's easy to spot the mistake and it's easy to fix it. It's not a fatal error. At first, individually having to remove each keycap and then putting in the new cap seemed tedious. I wasn't looking forward to it to be honest. But I found the process strangely cathartic. Naging relaxing siya. There's, you get into a rhythm of popping off each keycap and I had to clean out my old keyboard because I live with a dog and the dog has so much fur and this keyboard hasn't been cleaned in the X number of years that I've owned this keyboard. I did post a short about this and I got called out for not fully cleaning out the keyboard before putting on the new keycaps. I completely agree with you but I'm just that lazy or I don't care about my keyboard that much. Or, in my defense, inisip ko malinis na yun. It was really, really dirty before I cleaned it out. And you know, I had other stuff to do. I thought the level of cleanliness was sufficient just to try out these keycaps. And that's just to emphasize that again, this is a super novice talking about keyboards. And I'm sure expert keyboard guys cringed if they saw that short or when they saw the B-roll because everybody from that niche is very meticulous about their keyboards. That's not how I approach mine. Another surprising challenge na hindi ko naisip at first but I quickly ran into the practical problem is that hindi ko memorize yung keyboard. Yes, I know QWERTY but basically every other key 
I only have a general sense of where they go. And if you don't know the layout of the keyboard, how are you gonna put the new keys onto the keyboard? So as I was removing each old key, I would put it into the standard configuration or I would place them on my desk so I would have a visual reference which I could refer to when I was putting in the new keys. Because I figured the most efficient way would be to pop off all of the old keycaps, clean out the keyboard, and then pop in the new ones. Again, probably expert keyboard guys have memorized the different layouts in their sleep, but that's something a beginner will be running into. But again, it's not a fatal problem. You can look it up online or you can do it like me where you can just lay out the old keycaps as they were on the keyboard para kita mo kaagad how to put on the new ones. Last unexpected detour for this adventure, my keyboard is an old DAS keyboard and I couldn't change the shift, the two shift keys and the enter key because there seems to be a clasp or hook mechanism which holds on to those three particular keys. I was a little disappointed at first because those are commonly used keys. And I was looking forward to using the keycaps, the, the ones with designs, from Cable Mod. They couldn't be yanked out like all of the other keys. I didn't want to explore too much the hook mechanism for fear of actually breaking the keyboard. So this is an issue where different keyboard manufacturers may have some idiosyncrasies in how they put together their boards. Just something to keep in mind when you're going the custom keycap route. As to the quality of the keycaps, they use ABS plastic, which I am told is the standard for good keycaps, or most of the keycaps on the market are made from ABS. They're solid, but they're not chunky solid, so they have a good quality feel to them. They don't feel thin or flimsy, but at the same time, they don't feel heavy or clunky. So just that right middle ground of, yes, you feel that this is a quality product, but not too heavy. The laser edge designs don't wear out, or at least I tried my very best to wear them out with around a month's worth of use, heavy use at that, but they're still there, no problem, no diminishing of detail or fade out on any of the keys. And the texture of the keys from the design is something I really appreciate. I'm used to just the smooth kind of keys, the stock keys from the keyboard. And having texture to the keys is a really nice touch. And I would find myself occasionally just running my hands over the keys, enjoying the tactile feel, the slightly rough texture of the designs of the keys. Sounds like a small thing, but again, that's part of customization. Really latching on to these small details and thinking that, yeah, I like my computer. There are details about it that, for me, really make it stand out. So overall, how did I find them? Customized keyboards are a very expensive rabbit hole and I've had different people telling me that I should get into it. I am really resisting falling down that rabbit hole because, you know, that's a whole level of enthusiasm and cost that I, I don't want to get sucked into that whirlwind to mix metaphors. But these very baby steps, these custom keycaps for beginners has really kind of sparked an interest in me to get into more advanced keyboard customization. So they are kind of like a gateway drug basically. <laughs> they are your proverbial blue pill or red pill. And to be honest, I can't remember which one does which, but I think it's the blue pill where you take and you wake up and you stay with your boring, flat, stock keyboard. Or you take the red pill and you really see how far down the rabbit hole goes. I'm not quite yet ready for the red pill, but these custom keycaps from Cable Mod are relatively well priced, especially considering how much more expensive some of the other keyboard customization options are. And you may think that changing the keycaps just changes the aesthetic, the look of the keyboard. There's no practical functionality attached to it. That's true, but it really helps freshen up something which I have basically taken for granted. My keyboard is really very old. It gets the job done, but I don't think of it as a wow factor to my rig. With these keycaps, it really made me think about my keyboard again. What do I want from the keyboard? How do I want it to look? But also, how do I want it to function? So not quite at the rabbit hole yet, but this gateway drug from Cable Mod is really tempting me to explore further. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. 
We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.